Well, deep in the Santa Fe National Forest, a campground is said to be one of the most haunted in the country. Hunters via explores Holy Ghost campgrounds to find out why some say not everything is what it seems. There's a priest that is in the woods there in the, in the trees. There's also some more recent stories about some real terrible accidents that were up there. That the spirits are hanging. Isolated deep in the Santa Fe National Forest, a place called Holy Ghost. It's filled with stories passed down from generations, making some people uneasy when they arrive. There's two stories. One is that he had killed the Pueblo Indians. And the other one is that they killed him because they were rebelling against any colonists that were coming in. Ed and Sarah Slather from Duke City Paranormal Research Society have looked into the stories for some time. The tales date back to the 17th century of a Catholic priest who haunts these campgrounds. Today, people who live in the area know people who have felt something unexplained. My neighbor over here, uh, she had a friend that came and in two days she had to leave because she just couldn't stand it. She said there were too many uh, spirits around yeah, spirits. or whatever. In a more recent story, there's said to be a woman who was fishing by this creek. She noticed something in the corner of her eye that kept walking towards her. So she turned around to look at it and realized there was nothing there. This planet is very, very old and there's been a lot of footprints left on it. And if you want to brave a night here, you kind of have to go in with an open mind. Andres Valle, KWT, Action 7 News. Duke City Paranormal has not done an official investigation at Holy Ghost, but they say they are working on building a team to research the area.